They came for the phones, but it's virtual reality that is sweeping them off their feet. Strap on the new Samsung Gear headset and you can be catapulted down a mountain or into space. It was great. It's amazing. It's an experience. Wow. I'm sweating. <laughs> for the South Korean phone company, VR is a huge growth area. And they want you to eventually use it not for games, but to share your memories. The biggest life moments in our lives will be shared by virtual reality. You've already got uh, car companies doing uh, test drives with VR headsets. You've got medical professionals doing VR uh, operations and surgery uh, to make sure that they train people in the right way. I think we as you know, the human race will just share all of the moments that matter to us in virtual rea reality because it's a much more immersive experience than a flat photograph or watching a video on a 2D screen. The tech could transform the realms of health, education and design. A program like this allows designers to walk through worlds and handle objects they've created. Soon architects will be able to enter buildings before they're even built to get a sense of the space and light. Analysts predict it will be another five years before VR reaches critical mass, but by then it will engage all your senses. It's going to be more about mixed reality, so it's not like fully immersive. It's not just about like 360 videos, uh, but if you if you can uh, share that experience by uh, experience, I mean leveraging your senses, you know, feeling the heat, feeling the cold, the cool, whatever, uh, haptic feedbacks, connected globes, connected you know clothes, that will definitely be part of the experience. Some devices are already experimenting with this. This is the HTC Vive. Firefighters in Australia are using it to practice putting out virtual fires. And then they're taking it to the next level in gaming with mixed reality. Using this headset and a couple of controllers, I'm immersed inside a military shooter game. I've got virtual hands to pick up my weapons, but I'm not a great shot. Ironically, these same controllers and this headset were recently used by a surgeon who was practicing on removing a tumor from a child's brain. So these are some of the new worlds VR is entering. But costing hundreds of dollars, it's still a giant leap from the show floor into your living room. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, Barcelona.